Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, hopefully I'm in camera with everything I do because my camera's up higher than I can see. Um, but I have a couple of diamond paintings to share with you all. I got these from uh, Huacan, however you say that word. So yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys what I got. Um, they're the only thing I have to say about this that I didn't like was that there were no um, keys. Like the, there's a key on here, but you know the the how usually you get like a sheet that's got the picture, got all the numbers and everything on it. I didn't get one like that, which was disappointing. Um, but I will go ahead and show you what I got. I got this one with the four seasons and then I got this one with the tree that is the same as my tapestry which I do have the tapestry hung up in my room. I went ahead and I already counted all of the drills. They're all there. They, if you look on the uh, key here, you see the number here, the DMC code here, and then over here is the amount that you will need of that specific color, okay? On the bags, let's see if I can find one that's, there we go, that one's good. On the bags, I hope this is focusing, You've got the number on the canvas. So this is number five. You've got the DMC code here. And then you've got how many are in the bag. So it matches, you know, it, you actually get more than what it requires. So keep that in mind. Um, but it matches pretty well. So they do it by weight on there. I'm going to check the stickiness of this as well as try to get this to lay flat. It comes wrapped around a foam core. It came, they both came in the same box, which is fine. Uh, that worked. So we will go ahead and peel all three of these. Um, if you guys have never had one of these before, and I don't have a lot of space on my desk, so this is going to be a little complicated, but we will get through it. Uh, if you guys have never done this before, they have, when they come in the box, they're all rolled up. Oh goodness, why did that rip? They come all rolled up in the box and to get them to flatten out, there's a couple of ways that you can deal with them. Um, you can do what I'm doing and pull these sheets back like this and it will, now see this I don't like. I don't like when one of the papers rips because sometimes it sticks to this, the tape and that's never a good thing. Okay, so as I was saying, you can pull the papers back like this and it will, as you can see, this is no longer folding up on this side at all. Um, there, it is very, very sticky. There are a few creases, but that's okay. Uh, that happens in shipping as long as it's not like completely bent you're good um, because you can always store it flat under your bed or anything like under your mattress or something like that and it will get rid of those uh, any air pockets that may be under there you want to pop with a knife or something like that and uh, yeah usually it's okay all right so we're gonna do this side to get this to lay flat as well 
I can get this side to peel up. Um, but the other way to get them to lay flat, if you don't want to um, take the chance of pulling these back, you can always lay them under your mattress on your bed and that will flatten them out as well. I've done that um, with like really large paintings. Sometimes you, you need to, but uh, I've done that. It, it works fine. You know, it works just as well as this way. This way, it kind of just gets the static out of the picture and lays it flat for you. So we're peeling, I'm peeling these back to do that as well as to check for the stickiness, which you guys can see it is very sticky. So that is good. Lay that one down first. Okay. So lay all that back down. So that one is good. I'm going to lay that one over there, and then we are going to get this one. Which I forgot they had tape on them. The other one, the tape popped up pretty easily, I guess, or came off, one of the two. Anyway, so this one, we'll do it this way first. All right. I had really hoped that they had the uh, the legend, the key, whatever you want to call it, um, a pa an individual paper with it. Usually you get one like that, but these didn't come with that, which I was, like I said, I was really disappointed because I like having the, uh, the sheet to go by to, um, to check if anything's missing. And to just use the sheet off to the side whenever I'm working on it. So I don't have to worry about it. I am going to be very happy to work on this one. I'm hoping it's big enough for like detail. Alright, come on. And if you're wondering what I'm doing over here. <laughs> um, sometimes when you lift up the paper. Or try to lift up the paper. It doesn't lift up right away. Or it starts pulling the glue up with it. So if you just take your fingernail and rub the edge, it'll lay the glue back down and it makes it a lot easier to get the paper up. Okay. So there you can see the tree with the lights. Hopefully this is showing up on the camera because of my lighting. I'm not sure, but yeah. I'm super excited. I will eventually get to these. Um, there are a couple of other ones that I want to work on first. So these will be getting stored for a while. I've got... I've got some for my youngest son up in Canada. I don't know how I'm going to do those and send them to him though because I don't want them to get damaged because I'll be completing them and then, okay, stop it. I'll be completing them and then like, I want to get them framed and stuff like that, but I don't want to ship them and then get damaged. So I got to figure that out, but I want to get them to him so that he can hang them up in his room before he stops liking Paw Patrol. So there is the other half. It's upside down now, but you guys get the, the gist of it. So that is that one. They are really good, really, really sticky. I've never had a problem with this company. Um, sorry, I hit the thing. 
I've never had a problem with this company. Some people do. Uh, it's, you know, it is what it is. Some people don't get good canvases or good drills. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of, oh, there's my washi tape. <laughs> It's kind of a, a hit or miss with companies. I mean, even Ever Movement has, you know, issues sometimes. They do have the, um, I'm trying to pick up the washi that I just dropped. Like, it's like floating all over the place. Okay, let me go get the toolkit that I got from them to show you. And I have, I have other toolkits, but I don't have one handy at the moment, I don't think. Let's see. I might have one close by. Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Anyway, so this is the kit that uh, they sent. They have a grip on there, this really nice, large boat. You've got, I think, a large, large piece of wax. You've got the five, no, you've got the three placer. And then, I think that's like a seven or ten placer right there. And then you've got the really nice, sharp tweezers which I don't ever usually use, so I'm not really worried about it. And these are square drills. I don't know why, <laughs> but when they came in, I was thinking that I had uh, the round drills for some reason. I don't know why, but they're not. They're the square, but that's okay. I'm okay with it. So, yeah, that is it. Um, I will have the individual pictures, if they are still available, I will have them linked below. If not, then I will just link the store itself. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.